Okay, so it's the Epson 1400, 1430, or 1390. This is how you change the printhead. Click the ink button. And we really just want to get it into the not parked but ready to place cartridges position. This way we can freely move the printhead in a moment. So once it's sitting there, now we're going to pull the plug. All right, and you should. Now we can easily just slide this thing back and forth. Okay. Now, I am going to get rid of this door altogether. There's no real purpose for that. Take the ink cartridges out. And I like to keep these hanging around. There are two plastic clips to the right of the print head, which allow us to slide this up and down. And then on either side of this bar where the cartridges snap in, this is a separate plastic piece. Let's see if we can get a little closer. You're going to put something back here to pop that up, and then you're going to go and get the other side. Pop up both sides. And this piece comes straight out. There's one ribbon connector there. Let's be careful with the ends of the ribbon. Set that aside. Pull this piece of tape off just to get that one out of the way. And you're going to need a pretty small screwdriver. And there's three screws in here. One, two, three. And we're going to remove all three of those. Once you get all three of those out, this is just going to lift straight up. You got two ribbon connectors down here. Your print head may look something like this. This is all nasty and gross. That's why we're not getting quality prints. So we're going to very carefully, you want to pull these pin connectors straight out. Set that there. So, and uh, this is just a, that's actually a poster tube end, but it's a pretty good size fit for the print head. And we're going to take some of the cleaning solution. And we want to try to fill maybe an eighth of an inch of it up. What we want is we want the bottom eighth or so of the print head to submerge say up to about there you don't want to put the whole thing underwater that's going to fry the circuit boards you just want 
the bottom, you know, eighth of an inch of this thing and just sit it right there in the water. You can already see a bunch of black ink is pouring off that. That's pretty dirty. Now, at this point, we're going to skip around a little bit, but I would let it sit for at least 30 minutes at this point submerged in the solution. Uh, this is going to slowly break down the ink that's in there. Uh, now we're going to kind of skip, but after you waited at least, say, 30 minutes, you're going to take a syringe with the little hose on it, and let's say, you know, your two center ones are the most troublesome. We're going to pull ink out of there, and we're going to pull ink out. You can kind of see it rising out of there. So that's pretty clogged up. It should flow. Not freely, but fairly quickly, and that's barely flowing at all. Let's go with the other problem cartridge. And you can see it just barely starting to come up, so that one's pretty clogged up too. And you can see the black ink is just pouring out of there. Give it a little shake. You're going to want to pull all six, and then let it sit again. And then, you know, another 20 or 30 minutes later, you want to pull it again. Um... And once this solution gets too murked up, you're going to throw that away, fill it up again, because if you leave too much ink in there, then it's going to, uh, you know, it's just going to end up drying back on that head. You know, we want to get the ink off of the print head. But you do that two or three times until the solution in the little cup or the bowl or whatever you put it in stays pretty clear after 10, 20 minutes, and then we're pretty much done.